Hi, it's Cassie, and today I am going to transform this uh, lampshade that I got at a secondhand store into a beautiful Matt Durlar floral lampshade. So, just really quick, I am using <clears throat> a roll of Matt Durlar. Here are the specifics about it. It comes on a roll. It is 20 inches wide by 12 feet long. So you can do all sorts of really amazing things with this um, version of Matt Durlar. This is, um, I'm so excited to do this today. So what I've been doing is cutting out, excuse the noise here, cutting out flowers with my Cricut machine you could use any machine you want you could punch it out if you have a flower punch you could um, you could just hand cut them whatever you want to do but here you can see I have cut all of these flowers out um, I've used two 12 by 24 inch pieces of Matt Durlar. So I've cut down the roll to fit on a Cricut mat. And it's hard to see them because they're white, but you can see here, I've got lots and lots of flowers um, in three different sizes with two different size centers. And you'll see as I'm building and going along, you'll be able to see them a bit better. And of course, at the end um, with the photos, I'll make sure that um, you can see them better as well. But just so you know, I have cut them out of my Cricut. I used, I'm used i using a Cricut Maker 3 medium, uh, medium weight cardstock setting with more pressure. Uh, but I definitely um, would encourage you to do a test cut with your Matt Duralar on your machine even if you also have the same machine because all machines are a little bit different and it may require you to have a slightly different setting so that's what I use but I always like to give the disclaimer because sometimes they're a little bit different okay so to start you can do this with any lampshade and I'm not going to give you measurements per se but I'm going to show you um, how I am going to go about disassembling and reassembling this lampshade so that you can do it on any size or style of lampshade that you might have. Okay, so let's get started. I just, it's just regular lampshade with the frame inside there. And first I'm going to need to tear it apart. So let's get to work. I've got a craft knife here and I'm just going to, um, I don't want to completely rip this. I do want to use this, um, this piece as a guide or um, a pattern for for my new lampshade so I'm not gonna like tear it up and, and shred it or anything like that I am gonna take off this ribbon first and then I'm gonna carefully remove this uh, from this uh, ribbon that wraps around so I'll walk through the steps uh, and, and share more information as I need to but I'll probably just fast forward this part so you can see what I'm doing but uh, you know don't have to watch the the boring um, taking apart the the uh, lampshade. So all I'm doing right now is um, carefully finding the seam where the uh, ribbons are and you know this is just going to be trash so I'm taking apart first and I'm just uh, taking this ribbon right off of here which is pretty easy once you get going. Alright get rid of that. Okay then you want to find where the seam is on your lampshade. Now I don't want to lose the the sort of fabric piece that's uh, wrapped around the wire edges because I want to use that for um, my new lampshade to stick to. Okay, so I'm going to try to work around that or underneath it and maybe even just cut underneath and, and cut on the seam so that I have this one big piece to use as a pattern but also um, to keep these the base part of it intact for the rest of my project. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so now I have this piece. This will become my frame. It's a little bit bigger than the screen here. I'll, I'll put it down here. And then I have the top and bottom of the lamp 
uh, frame. Now, it's okay that these are separate because when we put it together, we have the pattern that's going to keep it the same size. So uh, I'll show you how it goes together at the end. But if you notice, I've kept the, the fabric sort of ribbon piece um, connected to the wire. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside for now and we're going to work on building the new frame or the new uh, shade, excuse me. So here you can see my full pattern for my old lampshade. I'm going to roll out a piece of the matte Duralar from the roll um, to make sure it is big enough to cover this whole pattern. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off the end. Okay, so now I've got my matte Duralar. I'm going to lay it out here. It's kind of hard to see. I know it's it's a frosty white color, so it's going to be hard for you to see it. Um, but you'll be able to see the pattern on top. I'm and to I'm get my Sharpie. And I'm just going to trace around here. And this is really the best way to do this because, like I said, your lampshade could be any size or style or cut. You know, some of them are are tapered like this where they're smaller at the top and wider at the bottom. Some are straight up and down. It just it really depends on the shade, the lampshade that you're replacing. So um, this is really the best way to do this. And I don't care if it's exactly straight, it's gonna be just fine. Here we go. I do wanna fix this part a little bit here. Okay. All right, so there we have the template um, shade used as a pattern, and now I can cut out the actual pattern from Matt Durlar. Okay, for this next step, I am going to use a uh, double tack mounting film, and I'm going to put a strip all along the top edge of the um, the lampshade, and uh, and then we'll stick it right down to our base. Okay, and double tag mounting film is really just um, a, a big sheet of sticky paper or sticky just adhesive and it has carrier sheet on either side to protect it until you're ready to use it. So I've just peel, peeled away one side so now I have the sticky sort of sheet here or um, strip and I'm going to lay this out. It's a little tricky because it's uh, it keeps wanting to curl up on me. So I'm just going to hold out my um, double tack film here. And I'm going to follow along the curve. And it's okay if it dimples and like, you know, because it's a straight sheet. Um, it's okay if it curls on itself a little bit as we go around, but I just really want to make sure that I'm staying right at the top edge of this frame, of this template here. Okay, and I'm not going to take that other side off yet, just yet. I'm going to leave it on until I'm ready to stick it down. So now I have a second strip here, which I don't need the whole thing. We'll just go as far as we need. So I'm just going to peel back one side of this. And it doesn't matter which side you peel back first because it's just a double stick, you know, piece of adhesive here. So, and my piece is, um, I would say like between a quarter and a half inch thick. You know, it just depends on, again, what the frame of your lampshade looks like and how thick it is and I'm just going to tear it off right at the end here. All right, so now if I bring this up close you'll be able to see, sorry it's a little unruly, you'll be able to see where I've put that strip right along the edge, okay? So next we're going to bring in the top part of our frame for the um, lampshade and then I'm just going to start at one end and peel and I'm just going to kind of peel as I go because I don't want it sticking to itself and causing more problems. 
So I'm just going to pick a spot, make sure I'm right at the top, just overlapping the tiniest bit, and I'm just following the edge of this along, just keeping the very tiniest bit of this Matt Duralar uh, above the frame of this Um, this metal frame. All right, I got to get my second strip of dur um, of double tech ready to go. Here we go. I'm going to keep just rolling it around. This really is the easiest way to do this. Just keep it flat on your table, and as long as you're following the um, the frame of your lampshade and the you know your piece of matte duralar, as long as you're keeping it right really consistent along the top there with just a little bit of overlap I'll show you in a minute uh, you're gonna be just fine this is this is gonna be a really nice easy way to do this oh the top hold up, hold up, hold up. okay here we go and there should be a little bit of overlap when you get to the end if you followed your template from your lampshade you can see where it kind of overlaps and that's fine that's going to be good for your foundation and um, also you know we're not going to see it because we're going to cover this whole thing with flowers but look at how it's already taking shape how cool is that yay okay so now I'm going to put this upside down here and we're going to get the bottom piece and prep it I did um, cut a little bit of this ribbon away that was excess mainly because there's this darker like glue stuff that's left on here and because this is you know translucent basically I didn't want that that darkness showing as much as I can help it anyway the, some amount of it I can't um, can't get rid of but I just sort of trimmed it a little bit just to make it look a little bit neater and um, just make sure that it's ready so that's what I'm doing now I'm just prepping this bottom ring and then we will attach it in the same way to the uh, to the lampshade okay now I'm going to cut two more strips of the um, double tack mounting film to make sure we have enough to stick to the bottom of the lampshade okay now I need to stick this uh, double tack mounting film to the actual piece of matte duralar now I guess you could have done this to the top and bottom before you started because now I'm gonna have to go around it so I didn't really think of that before <laughs> you could do that for sure or you can just do it like this now it's fine either way so you can't really see what I'm doing but it's the exact same process that I went through before okay and I'm just gonna follow it around and make sure that I'm staying right by the bottom. I have a little extra and I do want to put adhesive on the outer edge. Uh, oh. Get the bottom ring that we have here and we just need to attach it to the bottom of the space. So I'm gonna start with the, the these two pieces that meet at on the side here. I'm starting with the inner flap. Okay, and I'm going to peel off that double tack mounting film. I'm just going to peel it all the way off because we're doing this part just a little bit different. And then I'm going to take the, um, the ring here, the frame, the metal ring, and I'm going to attach it to the edge and go around similarly to how I did the top except we're, we're doing a vertical now because we've already got the rest in place okay making sure that I'm just under the lip here all right I should take off the rest of this adhesive actually probably it would be best if you did that all at once because this ring is going to want to go in all together. So let me just get the rest of this off of here. And I think it'll be easier to just sort of like set it into place all the way around. And I need to let 
this flap be loose for a minute so that it has a little more give because we really need to make sure because it's going to be real tight there we go so once we're we're sure that the base that this base ring is in place and it is stuck oops there's a little debris there okay and it's stuck oh it's stuck all the way around all right we don't have any dimples here Make sure it's nice and taut. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I just gotta fix this one side. Make sure it's right near the edge. I am gonna put a little bit of white ribbon around the edge of this, um, just so you don't see that ring from the outside. Here we go. Okay, so now once you feel like your, your lower ring is in place and it's stuck down everywhere, just kind of go around and make sure. Make sure there's no dimples anywhere or any buckling or anything like that. It looks really good to me. Okay, so now I'm going to um, peel off the backing of the adhesive along this edge where the where they meet and I'm going to let this whole thing stick together making sure that seam is stuck nicely stick so here we go here is our base shade which is kind of hard to see but there you go so now it's covered in Matt Durrell R. So now we can do whatever we want to this. And I think, you know, sky's the limit there. Okay, now hopefully you can see on my desk, I have folded, um, just like raised the petals of all of the flowers. So I have like a large, a medium, and a small uh, type of flower here. These ones are kind of off in the corner. So I'm going to put these kind of above me and shift things around a little bit, but this is what I'm going to use to actually cover this, um, lampshade. So it's just three different styles of flower. Let me get one of each so you can see how they look. It's just slightly different types of petals, three different sizes, three slightly different styles. Okay, and I'm gonna layer some up and I'm gonna do some single uh, and just kind of mix it up. And then I have two different sizes of these little starburst kind of centers. And that is what I have cut. Um, but before we start sticking all of these flowers down, and let me just make room here, I'm gonna shift things around a little bit. Uh, so many beautiful flowers, I'm so excited see how this is going to look in the end. So I'm shifting, moving flowers out of the way. I need my um, lampshade to be sort of center stage here for a little bit. I did also cut some white ribbon and I'm going to put that around the top and the bottom just to sort of finish it and hide the, um, the frame a little bit and just make it look a little bit better, I think. So I'm going to do the top layer first. I'm making sure that my edge or my seam for the ribbon matches where the seam is on the side okay so that's the only thing you really need to know and then also that it um, lines up perfectly as perfectly as possible with the um, top of your lampshade your matte duralar lampshade and that's it okay so i get to the uh, seam all right, and I'm gonna cut this off. I made it a little longer than it needed to be. I'm gonna cut it off, but I'm, I'm cutting it so that it's still even a little uh, past the seam because I want to um, fold this on itself so it doesn't have a frayed edge. So I'm gonna fold it on itself. If I bring this close, you can see what I've done here. So it's like a little tab. And then I'm going to put a piece of adhesive right here. I might even just use um, my glue gun because I do have my glue gun out for the actual flower adhesive. So um, I'm just putting a little tiny bit of glue from the glue gun here. Uh, and this is going to give us a nice clean end for the ribbon. Okay, so there's no frayed edge. All right, and that's 
Let me see if I can hold this up. Okay, that's how this is gonna look right here. So there we go, we've got ribbon all around the top. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So now I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing to the bottom, making sure that my seamed side is closest to me when I start. I'm gonna get the other piece of ribbon here and just do the same exact thing. I'm gonna try to prop it up there so I can show you what I'm doing and also see what I'm doing really well. So here we go. I'm just gonna start with single layers. Um, and I'm going to just pick a flower and a spot and I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue and then I'm going to stick the flower right on top. And that's it. I'm starting with all the big ones and I'm just going to be sort of, sort of random, trying to like evenly space them. I'm just going to do a section at a time. Okay, so then I might put one over here and just need a tiny bit of glue. And... I'm just going to keep going. It is done. I have added all the flowers. You can see here, let's get it all in the frame there. And I've tried to evenly space them, fill in all the holes. I'm just showing you the whole, f the whole shade here going all the way around. And then if I come a little closer, you can see more of the detail. So I've put some centers in some of the flowers as you can see there. Just so beautiful and delicate. I could see this in a, in a girl's room, like a little girl's room. Um, and again, I kept this natural um, with just the matte Duralar and no color or pigment on here. But you could, before you cut out the flowers, you could use acrylic paints or watercolors or alcohol ink or whatever and, and make a really colorful um, lampshade as well. So it really is up to your style and how you're going to use it. But I just think this is absolutely darling and I love it. So just to let you know, um, I cut out 43 of each size flower. So that is 129 flowers are on here. Okay. 129 flowers. I didn't double up any of them. I just decided to add some of these little centers to some of them because uh, I thought that it looked fine just the way it was. So 129 flowers are on here. How crazy is that? So I'm going to get this on a lamp, onto an actual lamp and put a bulb in here and take some photos so you can see how it looks lit up. But that is my project for today. We used the roll of matte Duralar and we used double tack mounting film to make this great lampshade. I hope that you found some inspiration here today. I would love it if you made one of these and maybe shared on social media so we could all see the cool lampshades that you make. Um, if you want to learn more about graphics products, just visit graphicarts.com. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.